So is there a difference in market conditions for homes in different price ranges? Well, today's market update will look at the tale of two markets. We'll look at what to expect if you're selling or buying properties that are selling for 900,000 or less compared to buying or selling homes selling for 1.2 million or more. Well, I'm Harold Powell, and if you're looking to stay up to date on all things real estate for Ventura and the surrounding areas, I suggest hitting the subscribe and bell icon to be notified of future content. So let's start with taking a look at the supply and demand for properties selling for 900,000 or less. The light green represents available inventory. The red line represents pending sales. And what I noticed straight away is how often the demand exceeds the monthly inventory levels from February to August of 2023. Currently, the demand of 198 pennings is just under the supply of 245 homes for January. So this is telling us that there are a lot of buyers out there that can afford a home in this price range. And another way to understand the relationship of supply and demand is to look at the months of inventory based on pending sales. So we are currently sitting at 1.2 months of inventory, which is clearly a seller's market. A seller's market is defined by three months or less of inventory. And the other takeaway to pay attention to is whether the months of inventory will likely shrink like it did last year. Now you can see last year in January, supply was 1.2 months as well, and we saw it to decrease to 0.7 months of inventory. So when this decrease occurs, it's telling us that the market is accelerating or it's speeding up. And the side effect this of this is actually an increase in home prices. So now let's compare this to what we see in the $1.2 million or more price range. Let's take a look at the supply and demand graph first. And here it looks quite a bit different than what we saw for the homes under 900,000. The supply currently here is at 290 homes, which is about 18% more than what we saw in the 900 or less price point. But the biggest difference is the demand, which had 58 sales for January, which is equivalent to 70% fewer sales than homes under 900,000. So in summary, there is more inventory and less demand in the $1.2 million price range. So as before, let's look at the months of supply based on pending sales. Now, it's not surprising that the months of inventory is higher. I mean, currently it's at five months for January, and this number is considered a actually a neutral or balanced market. So if we repeat the typical pattern of previous years, we will likely see the months of inventory lower as demand picks up. And the other takeaway is that when the months of supply stays above three months, we see much less upward pressure on pricing. So we would expect prices to be flatter if the month supply continues to stay above three months for this year. So the takeaways for buyers shopping for under $900,000 price range is you'll likely be competing with other buyers on a number of different homes. Additionally, if you are a buyer thinking of waiting, you may be disappointed since there is quite a bit of upward pressure on pricing and it will likely get more expensive. Sellers in this range will likely see multiple offers. And for home buyers shopping for over 1.2 million, you'll enjoy the fact that there is more inventory to choose from and will likely not have to compete with as many buyers. And sellers will still benefit the, from the balanced market, but will need to be a bit more patient since time on this market will actually be a little bit longer. Now, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and a thumbs up. Thanks.